I've had a lot of requests for this, so I figured I'd do a quick video on how to check the strain gauge on your Elegoo Neptune 3. So to get started, what you're going to need is a multimeter set to the DC 20 volt. The two pins that you're going to look for are labeled Z negative. So these two wires here, the ones off to the right, the center and the rightmost are the ones that carry the signal. The wires coming off of the strain gauge going into this little black box underneath here are what tell this unit here to output the digital signal going to the Z negative limit or the end stop, if you will. To test this, you put your black lead into the center pin. Not too hard, just enough to get in there. And then your red lead into the rightmost pin. You'll see right here, right now it's reading 3.6 volts. If you push any, any bit on the strain gauge, make sure it's not hot. But if you push on the strain gauge, I'll lower the camera so you can see. If I touch the strain gauge, even just gently, you'll see that it goes down to zero. So that's how you can check to see if the strain gauge is connected properly to the little black box and if it's sending the binary or digital signal down to your motherboard. There's no way to test if the motherboard is receiving the signal aside from unplugging the other end of this wire, checking it there, and then going, then you just know that it's going into the board. But then there's no real way to check a diagnostic bit or anything to see if it's actually tripping. I don't know if you can do that through Octoprint or Repetier or anything like that. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I figured I would share this bit of information because it's a good way to troubleshoot whether or not your strain gauge is actually working and sending the binary signal out. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, as soon as I find more information on this, I will definitely share.